Welcome to our channel Bright Maths. In this video, we are going to learn the trigonometry formulas and identities using hexagon trick. A hexagon is a six-sided closed diagram like this. Draw the hexagon and also draw the diagonals and take one in the center. We know that there are six trigonometric functions that is sin, cos, tan, cot, secant, cosecant. Let us take the trigonometric functions in the vertices of the hexagon. First, let us take sin, cos and then next we take tan, cot and then take secant, cosecant. We can remember the pairs easily sin cos tan cot secant cosecant. Now from this vertex taking clockwise we get the formula tan theta equal to sin theta divided by cos theta. Similarly from this vertex taking anti-clockwise direction we get cot theta equal to cos theta divided by sin theta. So taking clockwise we get tan equal to sin divided by cos. Taking anti-clockwise we get cot equal to cos divided by sin. Similarly we can take all other vertices also. All the formulas are true. But in problems, mainly we use only these two formulas. Now taking horizontal lines, we get the complementary angle formulas. Taking the first line, we have sin and cos. So we get the formula sin 90 minus theta equal to cos theta. Similarly, cos 90 minus theta equal to sin theta. And taking the second line, we have tan and cot. So we have the formula tan 90 minus theta equal to cot theta and cot 90 minus theta equal to tan theta. Next taking the third line, we have secant theta and cosecant theta. So we have the formula secant 90 minus theta equal to cosecant theta and cosecant 90 minus theta equal to secant theta. So taking the horizontal lines we get the complementary angle formulas. Now taking the diagonal lines we get the reciprocal formulas. Take the first diagonal. Here we have sin cosecant. So we get the formula product of this equal to 1. So sin theta into cosecant theta equal to 1. From this we get sin theta equal to 1 by cosecant theta. Similarly from this we get cosecant theta equal to 1 by sin theta. So we have to understand that these two are reciprocal to each other. Here the main formula is only this sin theta into cosecant theta equal to 1. Similarly taking the next diagonal that is cos and secant. Here also the product of these two equal to 1. That is cos theta into secant theta equal to 1. Taking the next diagonal that is tan and cot. Here the product of these two equal to 1. That is tan theta into cot theta equal to 1. So taking the diagonal lines we see that the product equal to 1. Next, taking the triangles, we get the trigonometric identities. Let us take these three triangles. 
Taking clockwise in these triangles, we get the trigonometric identities. First, consider this triangle. Here, taking clockwise, squaring and adding these two, we get the square of the third one. That is sin square plus cos square equal to 1 square is 1. This is the main formula. From this, uh, we can get the other two formulas very easily. That is sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Taking this cos square theta to the other side, it will become negative sign. Similarly, we get cos square theta equal to 1 minus sin square theta. If we take sin square theta to the other side, it will become negative. So, we get this formula. But the main formula is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Similarly, taking the next triangle, here also we take clockwise direction. So, 1 plus cot square theta equal to cosecant square theta. So, taking clockwise direction, here 1 squared is 1 plus cot square theta equal to cosecant square theta. Similarly, taking the next triangle and taking clockwise direction, we have tan square theta plus 1 squared is 1 equal to secant square theta. So, we get the formula tan square theta plus 1 equal to secant square theta. So, taking triangles and taking in the clockwise direction, we get the trigonometric identities. In this way, we can remember these trigonometric formulas and identities very easily without memorizing them. Thanks for watching.